Uh, yes, nothing like using the old toxic protect strategy. Anywho, enough yes. Dark Souls talk, we're back, and the computer is working again and not losing power. When we last left off, uh, Russ was spotted by uh, several guards. And, uh... Sh uh, two of them yell, Princess! Con intruder! Princess is like... Guys, what day is it? Uh, Valkyrie B is just sort of like, well, we got Marina on the... Oh, no. And they're looking at you. Russ. Why is nobody answering me? Um... What do we do, Commander? Princess is sort of looking like, I didn't want this. I really didn't want this. Can nobody tell me what day it is? <laughs> Girls, can you try to kill him as quickly as possible? Because he is annoying me. <laughs> That's rude. Roll initiative. Indignantly. Roll initiative, Russ. <laughs> okay, okay. Russ is going to roll an initiative. That's just one d twenty plus his dexterity, right? Yep. Okey doke. Twenty two. God. Let's do that one more time. Uh, uh, yeah, Russ goes second. All right. He is so blown away by the by the rudeness of it all. All right. So one of them is gonna move up here, and the other's gonna try to move around you, and they're just gonna make a you know a decent attack at you. Okie doke. They're not very strong. Well, at least these girls aren't. Alright, one tries to swerve around you and make... T oh, wait. I didn't do their attack all the way yet. I'm sorry. There we go. Any of those hit? Uh, total combat defense is 31. Oh, yeah. So, one girl just swoops around, tries to, to double slash you. But fails. Horribly. <laughs> and the other girl is only able to move into position. And uh, meanwhile, on Princess's turn, she's looking at the Valkyrie going, Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, right, ma'am. Let me see, she can move 25 feet, so, moving, um, she can move to right there, right adjacent from the Amazon. Alright, and Princess is going to use, um, and Princess is going to use her rest of her turn, like, we might need more guards. And, uh, meanwhile with Marina. Marina? What do yeah. You, what do you do? You're locked in a cage with a very... Oh, no, I'm out of quest knots. And my charger's not charging again. No. Curses. Are we having more technical difficulties? Yeah, kinda. Probably. So, um, yeah, Marina still gets a move, though. What does Marina do? Yep. Yeah. Marina, what do you want to do? Mind control. You Pack wanna... in. You want to mind control this Valkyrie who's shaking you? She is up Punch close and on my face. face. This is a point blank mind meld. Alright, go for it. Uh, use your mind meldiness. Do it. Do it. Really dice? Wait, did I make a macro in quest mods for that? I'm gonna make a macro in quest mods for that. Alright, well, uh, you got one more attempt. Is 
Is there a limit to the number of times you can do that each day? Um, your intelligence. Okay, macro works. Yeah, I'll try again. <laughs> of course you still have that macro. Hey guys, I would like to interrupt. I have a what? question to pose you. Who are you going to kiss for New Year's? Do you guys want to know my answer? Who? Alcohol. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, at least you have some. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't yet. I'm going to go buy some. All right, Marina, I have some good news. Due to your incessant mind control <laughs> focusing. <coughs> I'm okay. No one cares, Tom. That, that, that's good. All right, so you actually managed to mind control her, because even though she might be, you know, brutal, brutal, kill, kill, she uh, is not very strong of mind. Woohoo! Mind over matter. But you, as you faint in your in your teleported bed, um, I what? Yeah, you're you're basically in a cell which basically resembles your room. Everything's tossed around. Basically, your rooms were teleported. Like anything that wasn't nailed to the floor was teleported. Ah, uh, okay. So you know. That's a thing. Yeah, and you mind control this lady, and you know what? You can start doing stuff with her. In your next turn. Okay. Okay, so Russ, meanwhile, is surrounded by two beautiful Starheart women. With, uh, with dueling uh, katanas. I am looking around this map. Is this black space a wall or just something that I can't see? Oh, uh, wait, I should reveal that because you'd be able to see it. Um, You wouldn't be able to... I mean, you'd be able to see a little bit in there. And a little bit up here, but not much. Okay, Russ is going to do something absolutely fucking retarded. Hold on a moment. That's the best kind of things to do. All right, all right. So Russ is immediately going to use his kinetic launch. A total of twice in a row. Oh god, can you even do that twice in a row? I guess you At the could. cost of 1 AP, I can charge up to 50 feet in any direction. Alright, go for it. Do 1 to 6 damage to anyone adjacent to me. Alright, go for it. Okay, and so this takes the form of a regular old attack. It's not very strong, but it doesn't really need to be. So. Yeah, it, it doesn't hit. They managed to jump back in the nick of time. So I land here. Do I see anything I uh, of interest? Um, revealing the area. Actually, wait. Um, that's not supposed to be revealed. You see more of those girls. Um, and... Oh, party. Russ is going to launch himself into this area as best he can. Okay. Roll it. Oh, wait, never mind. You launch yourself there. Don't you take a little bit of damage for doing that? Hold on, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. Back launch. Fortitude save. Or negate the d6 of damage. Okay, so I gotta roll a couple of fortitude saves. Dum dum. Fortitude. Fortitude is 14. I'm freaking fine. Yeah. So I did immediately take stock of my surroundings. Um, more star hearts. Um, you see another one over here. Which I use girls in French maid outfits for. Because roll 20. I appreciate that. But I'd say I'm more handsome than pretty. 
I am the most pretty. Do you feel witty? And gay? Possibly. Alright, then what? And then I am going to immediately throw the bunk bed in front of the door. This bed? Oh yeah, yeah, I see it. Alright, roll me the uh, might or athletics or whatever it is. Okie doke. Oh god, chasing Russ around a ship would like be, would like, it would be a bit like chasing one of those dancing fireworks. Okay, so if, you know, gunfire gets into your room, you're gonna get more damage reduction. <laughs> okay, so Russ is causing a gleeful amount of chaos. Yes, he is. Oh god, he is. <laughs> then what? Marina's turn. Marina! What do you do next? Um, I'm going to pick my own body up, just in case somebody comes by. I can try to say, like, hey, look, I've got her. And, uh, does the door to this room just lead out yeah it leads um you want to open it yes whoa oh careful um here just, i'm trying to give, 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 give me a second i'll bring up my power strip so you don't smash your computer yeah i'm trying here. to all right sorry i'm trying to fix an issue because it's still not charging the asshole so you go out, and uh, this is what you see. Uh, when you exit the room, give me a sec. All right, and that's what you see it, when you leave the room. So. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, carry myself down the hall. Um, uh, the the <laughs> Valkyries immediately ask, "What are you doing?" With. Uh. I'm, I'm having some trouble with her, so I'm going to take her to Princess because I think she would know best what to do. Why is she all faint? Why is she fainted like that? Uh, I, I shook her around a little bit, and uh, she woke up for a second and zapped me, and uh, I don't know how to go back to normal. She zapped you? Why aren't you back to normal? Wait. She's, she's one of those magic types, you know? Did something to my brain. You don't sound too hot right now. <laughs> oh god, do I look a mess? <laughs> You're not acting like Ava. I told you. This witch did something to me. I figure since Princess is sort of like her, she might know how to reverse it. Roll me a social skills. Oh boy. Yeah, roll it, lean R. Do you have the charisma? Oh shit. <laughs> yeah! Oh, <man. laughs> exactly when you needed it. They sort of go, oh wow. All right. You know, they realize that, uh, oh shit, she outranks us. We shouldn't really be questioning her like this. Uh, we should, we'll back down. So, after that, you get one more action point. Which way do you want to go? Lena. I guess down the hallway leading straight down. Give me an arrow. Oh, okay. 
One, two, three, four, five. Alright, that's as far as you can get. Now it's the other's turn. Russ. Yo. You're holding that bed. Yep. Alright, so these two lovely ladies start inserting their swords through the bed and it's going to give you a bonus uh a plus four bonus an extra plus four bonus to your dr and your total combat defense i am eager to see if they can even hit me on d20 plus 10 and give me a sec Give him a couple more attacks. Um, they only have no. two AP, so... So, uh, they are SOL. Yeah. Alright, alright. So, now that it's Russ's turn again, he's going to take the other bed and cram it lengthwise so that it jams up against the other bed and forms a barrier that just cannot be knocked down easily. All right, roll me athletics. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's pretty jammed. Hmm? It's gonna require a lot of people to move this, and the girls are like, "We can't push it." Okay, then Russ steps into the corner, and he's going to examine the far wall right here. Far wall. Um, it is a wall. Uh, can you tell? Is it structural? Um, it might lead to a closet. Okay, in that case, Russ is going to use his buster grip to, uh, make himself a tiny little hole for his hand. Alright, roll it. Mm -hmm. 24. Alright. You manage to make yourself a hole that you can move. Basically, on this turn, just squeeze. Use the action to move your last action to squeeze yourself through. The idea wasn't to squeeze myself through. The idea was to make a hole big enough so that I could judge it, you know, whether or not it's wise to go in. Oh yeah, you managed to see. It's about half your size. It's not easy to go through. You gotta squeeze through. Because your roll isn't sufficient enough to make it, you know, that good. Well, the thing is, now that he has a big barricade in front of his door, he has a bit more time. And you see that it leads... You're actually sort of in a vent right now. Sort of a ventilation. You just punch through a wall to get through into a ventilation thing. Okie doke. Russ will act on this information in his next turn. Marina! Where to next? It's all up to you now! Yep, there. Further down the hall. Alright, further down the hall. And, uh, it's actually the Amazon's turns. They're like, we need more help over here! And the Valkyries are like, ah! Oh, Great. So they're just going to use their turns to get there. And get around here. Marina, you want to move towards there? Yes. Alright. Where do you want to go next? Um, ask someone nearby what's the problem. Fucking Pharaoh got onto the onto the ship when we were trying to get the other hostage. You hear a muffled "What day is it?" from inside. Uh, <laughs> I say, "Let me help. I've got his friend." Do you put down your body? Nope. Although I do make a sort of like exaggerated gesture of uh, pretend strangling my body. And a little, you know, yep, I, I can do it. 
to the others. It's like, be careful with that. Princess wants her alive. Oh, I know. But he doesn't. Okay, that's true. If... Hmm, you got a point. He is a furrow. Fucking barbarians. <laughs> um, more <laughs> Amazon. More Amazon uh, get on their way. And next round, they'll try to, you know, break the Pillow Fortress. Which way do you go? <laughs> Ping to where your next movement, Marina. Uh, I guess towards the barricaded door. Alright, you go there. Alright. I'll just move you, like, right here. Alright, and I will reveal more area. Oh, yeah, because you were, like, right there, I guess I can reveal more of the map now. Fairly most of it. <laughs> so, yeah. You're on a big starship. So. What is Tom oh. showing you? I'm yeah. sorry, I'm imagining this devolving into an overly extended red versus blue. <laughs> Shout out. Be gone. Anyway, anyway. Anywho, continue. So, uh, Marina's done her thing. Does that mean it's Russ's time to go again? Yes. Okay, Russ is going to bust into the supply closet as best he can. Should he roll athletics or buster? Um, yeah, you're, it's more of like a ventilation system, so, there is a fan in your way. Well, that's not really a problem for, uh, for Russ. Alright. Should so, I roll my buster grip? Yep, but also roll me flexibility in terms of stealth. Okay, buster and then, grip. And then minus, yeah. minus, I was gonna say minus five. I'm like, yeah, pretty much. I'll it. just roll my flexibility and you can interpret it how you will. Alright. That 20. Oh, shit. Even with the <laughs> minus 5, that, yep. So you managed to succeed in quietly destroying it. Instead of actually destroying the fan, you just put your arm out and the fan blades just go dunk, 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 and just break slowly. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, Russ is going to navigate into the room and see if there's anything he can do next. All right. Any uh, points of interest, any stuff he can All examine. Right. In the other room, there's a Majoko sort of uh, the littler star hearts, and she's just mo looking at her medical equipment right now. So oh we, have we noticed oh, that, that they're gone Imagine yet? Incredibly fucking stupid things. What? Acting as a satanic voice in the ventilation. Using his complete lack of charisma and social skills to convince her that the ventilation shaft is haunted. God. <laughs> uh, I need to reveal more area to Lena, actually. Um... There you go. So, yeah. Um, alright. So, now let's move on to... Oh, uh, you want to roll that social skills real quick? Do it. To uh, relax out. I'm not sure if that's, like, the best move. He's uh, going to see if there are any uh, extensions of this. Like, if he could possibly get into some, you know, overhead or underneath ventilation thingy um basically it comes out here and there's i mean really it's just sort of a cube of ventilation sort of thing going on where there's one going into this room and then there's another leading out this way i'll ping it the best i can make sure it's not in the dm layer man it's not okay 
So, um, I couldn't really travel stealthily between rooms using this ventilation duct, could I? I mean, you can. You basically shot the fan, so it's not going to, you know, chop you in the bits. Okay, so, um, where could I potentially go using the ventilation system to just, you know, mask my movements a little? Um... Really, everyone up here, I mean, if you move back here, you look and look. Um, there's like a voice over the, uh, monitor, like over the announcer sort of thing, like, Intruder went into, into, into one of the bunks, and he locked it up. Let's try to, you know, move the bed. We need all, all hands on deck to move the beds. So you see people running that way. Starheart's running that way. And looking out. I'll reveal more area. You see that. And that's really about... You know, wait. I forgot to reveal one more thing. One more thing. And that right there. So. Okay, okay. Everyone Russ is going to examine all the things that he can see from where he is. Do any of them look like particularly vital or valuable systems? Not that you can see. Alright, alright. There's no... Uh, he can't, like, see the main intercom system, can he? Um, no. I mean, barely. It's more of like, there's one right here. One over on this wall. But really, that's about it. Hmm. Is this part of the ship designed to be sealed off? I mean, there's bolts where it's like, uh, you know, your typical air, where, you know... If someone with finesse had a screwdriver, you could unscrew it and get himself out. You, on the other hand, you're, you're going to have to kick. But I'm saying, like, over here, where I'm pinging. Um, where are you pinging? Upper right. Oh, yeah, I see it. Is this an airlock? Um, no, it's more of a uh, place that can be locked up. It's really no... I mean, okay... Um, there, I mean, basically where you started out, uh, actually, let me see. All right, now I know where it is. Airlock is sort of in this dark area right here that you didn't really, actually, why am I telling you that? I showed not All right. Anywho. I can't see any airlocks, I can't see any vital systems, and the only systems that I really can see are just, you know, singular intercom things. Yeah. You do see, uh, little things labeled escape pods. Where? Ooh! Right there. Okay, hmm. Russ is going to make a note of that, because that is very valuable information to have. And for a little while, he's just going to wait and see if he can gather as much information from him here as he can. He's just going to sit and not do anything of significance for a little while. For the moment, he doesn't have to, you know, be on the run. Alright. So, and, and I'm going to move the other sort of up to here. Yes, Tom? So, um, have, have I and the others noticed yet um, the, the lack of two people's rooms? So, like, an hour later, Wade's, uh, Wade, you're like, I have a great idea for another experiment. You go to check their rooms. Everything I need seems to think to... up of another idea. Thanks a lot. <laughs> and they're gone. Don't worry, you forgot about it as soon as you realized they're gone. Okay. 
Um, you I, wake up Belonke. Yeah, so I Belonke tell him to do really a scan. doesn't care. I tell him to do a scan anyway. Yeah, well. Oh, yeah, there's a big thing right there about a few uh, clicks that away. I say, how close can you get me? Um, uh. Can you ram their ship? Oh. Oh, no. I say, can, can you get me close so I can fire at the ship? I can get you that close. Okay. Well, we'll get that close, and can you hail the ship? I mean, I'll try. All right, hail the ship. I don't really want to wake up fair. She doesn't... Well, just hail the ship quietly. Oh, you goddamn. <laughs> Look, no. it's er it's late at space. I haven't slept for a while, okay? Well, hail the ship, and if it's no big deal, you can go back to bed. Uh, why are you waking me up anyway? I'd say uh, we're missing we're you. missing two crewmates. No, the goat. I say no, goat's fine. Actually, I haven't checked the goat. I'm assuming he's fine. Um, the the little thing that's always clinging on the Farah. I haven't checked on that thing either. <laughs> then why why the hell are you bothering me? I say we're missing two crew members. Then who is it? Say uh, uh, Farah and Russ. Marina and Ross. Oh. I can, I can say words. Yeah, we might need them. Okay, come on, let's go. <laughs> um, you try to hail the ship, and on the other Not end... ignores you. On the other end is, uh, Princess, Princess going, yes. Actually, first you get, you know, a heart, star heart maiden. Soldier going like, um, excuse me, who are you? I say I'm. I would like to speak with the captain. Cap, um, I'm sorry. We we need uh, some clearance. And princess sort of storming into the room. Why is it taking so long to fucking just catch one intrude? Looks at you on the screen. I wave. I say so. Um. My suggestion to you would be to give them back now. Who are you talking about? Um, so, that's, again, it's only a suggestion. What um, are you talking about? We didn't so take I've got, anything. I've got, what, ten seconds before I make the decision? You know, our ship could blast you straight out of the fucking void. Nine. Eight. We have them aboard. Seven. Oh, oh, and you're gonna you're gonna give them back? We need one for a little bit. For what? I just needed to talk to her, but she's such a sniveling little coward. Every time I come close to her, she screams. Well, okay. How about this? All right, you do whatever you did to get them on board. You reverse it. You send them back here. And That's then... the problem. We're having a little bit of problem with that. The thing sent them aboard in the wrong place. Well, just let them go at the uh, one of those escape pods, and then while they're in the escape pod, we'll communicate through recording. But she's so. Oh, the th the thing's jammed. I'm assuming I like see. It's video like, feed, so it doesn't work. I say, well, oh, all right then. That's your finally five, four. Bless them out of the sky. And she shuts off communications. Say, Blanca, I think we need to do... No, oh boy, we're fucked, aren't we? No, 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 no. This is this is our opportunity. All right? Blanca, we need to do... Evasive Maneuvers! So, I don't know Blanca's piloting. Let me look it up. I would also like to get on the gun. Alright, Belonke, there. What is your piloting, Belonke, there? Hey, Belonke, Stan is a, you know, proud and respected individual. Stan. Um, flexibility plus nine, plus four, plus ten. Um, uh, 
All right, so that's 13 plus 10, all right, 23. Um, all right, so. Um, the princess is like, get on the fucking guns! And the maidens are like, but we're doing, we're looking at the radar. Go! Okay. <laughs> Run, one runs there, and uh, one runs to this gun. They're all sort of exiting the main system thing. It's like, I'll take over here. And on the next turn, uh, ship combat will begin. It's been a while since we've done that. So she's 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 piloting the the ship. Um, yeah, she's most of Majoko is sort of doing that, and Princess is supervising. Okay, so I mean, I can <laughs> still By supervising. We mean backseat driving. Yeah, pretty much. So I can still talk to her technically. You can try to hail again, if you'd like. Yeah. Like. I, uh, I, like, I, right before you run to the gun, I, you're I like, put hey. a, I put in a compad thing so that way I can communicate and bring it down to the gun with me. Alright. Shit, alright. So, you do that. She, what do you want now? I say, uh, I think there's a, there's a better way for us to handle this. Yeah, you think? Think that you blowing, trying to blow up my ship? With not only my crew, but your crew, too. I was only going to... Heavily damage your ship. Oh yeah, and I was gonna fucking blow you out of the void. Well, I mean, like you could try, but I, I think, I think there's a better, a better way for us to do this. Have you looked at surely, your... surely someone as intelligent as you can come up with a with a better way to to end this. By the way, her ship is about twice the size as your of yours. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> with a lot more guns. Yeah, okay, so. So I, I say I, I say I think that there's a better way, uh, and I, I I would like basically I'm I'm complimenting her in hopes of of that working. So I'm saying okay, you know. All right. What's your social skills? Plus four. No, it's thirteen. I mean, does does, does she make any? Any response to it? How about this? Let me find your crew, have my little chat, and you can have her back for now. I'll even give back your shit that I accidentally stole. That's really not your shit, but it's hers. And whatever she brought aboard, on board with them. Uh, I say, oh, okay. Uh, how about, um, then, um, I come on over there as well. We'll, uh, make it, you know, so that way I can talk to her and, uh, get everything calmed down. Make it easier on both of us. All right. Um. Give me a second. Let me try to repair my teleporter and I'll get you aboard. Hey, well, why don't why don't I just pull up right next to you? My You'll ship, be able to blow us out of the sky much easier. My than ship you. doesn't really have an airlock at the moment. We have to convert it into a cell. Um, fire one of the escape pods, and I'll go in through that door. Fair enough. I am an engineer. That's a really clever idea. So they do that. Fire one off. I'm assuming even so I have, could just you get... put on your helmet and you just sort of kick off. Well, I'm assuming you also I could have simply... little little packs as well to sort yeah. of. Well, my my assumption is all that I'd have to do is we get the escape pod. I get inside the escape pod and we put the escape pod back. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Okay. They have someone piloting a maiden. All right, Go so in I, there, pilot the space card, and reattach when we give the signal. Right away, ma'am. Meanwhile, with Russ and Marina. So, all the star hearts here sort of line up against the door. 
And with a bunch of Valkyries there, and Amazons backing them up along with Maidens, they're pretty much able to fucking pry this thing off. Along with, uh, especially because BB's there. One of uh, Princess's right-hand women. And Princess sort of walks away. Keeps I think she's actually left-handed. Wait, what? I, I think Princess <laughs> is left-handed. Possibly. Princess takes uh, her, you know, just goes into the room and is like yelling like, What the fuck is going on here? How long does it take you to kill one? And she sees that Marina's out of her uh, cell. And she goes from her light shade of green to a hellish red. Ava. What the fuck is she doing? And her first soul! <laughs> I think that's over to you, Miss Marina. Marina? Marina, are you there? Lena? She's talking to you. <laughs> she wants to have some... She wants some answers. Ah, uh, she just had the sound problem again. Oh no! How long have we been streaming? I think if I leave uh, Discord alone too long, it like shuts itself off and it stops uh, transmitting voice. Oh damn! It's so weird. It's the push to talk thing, Lena. Yeah. I don't like it. All right. So. Anyways, uh, I hold my body close and I go, looking after her to make sure she doesn't escape while we deal with the other one. She's gonna roll sensory real quick. Marina. Is yeah. the way you're holding the body and the way Ava just she can tell right ro roll me a social skills real quick. You have to beat twenty nine. Not twenty, not twenty, not twenty, not twenty. <laughs> no, I have no social skills. Yeah. So Princess reads you like a book. And Princess is like, sweetie, I know when mo when someone uses a mind control spell. I fucking wrote the book on that shit. Now put yourself down and regain consciousness so I can talk to you, woman to woman. <laughs> Marina takes a big deep breath and yells, Russ, it's Thursday, help me! <laughs> Wait, Russ, it's what? It's Thursday. It's Thursday. Oh, what day is it? I got it. <laughs> Russ, roll sensory. <laughs> I'm assuming it's at this point that I walk in and I just hear, Russ, it's Thursday. Um, in another round. Okay. Well, I'm assuming, like, I'm, like, now connected to the ship, but I'm on the other side of the ship, right? Um, yeah, you're, you're... You ba basically are parked out, the ship just, the pod just left, and you're, you know, making your descent. Because, you know, despite you being in spaceship, it's about a few, you know, a few, oh, okay. like, 50 yards for you to float there. Mm hmm So, Russ, roll, roll your sensory... This is exactly what he was spending the rest of his turn focusing on. Just you will get a plus five bonus. Okay. Eight. <laughs> you hear a woman screaming. You hear Thursday. <laughs> uh, Russ is going to immediately assume metagame that it is someone finally with a lick of sense and that you he should head in that direction. Alright. 
So you're gonna head that direction? Yes. Uh, not through that door, because that's stupid. Okay. So what do you do? <laughs> because when you give me the option of the door or the wall... No. <laughs> Russ isn't, get, uh, isn't screwing around here. He's not even going to use his buster grip to do any sort of subtlety. He's just going to fucking punch the wall as hard as he possibly can. Roll it. 37. All right. You punch through the wall. The Mojoko there is fucking traumatized. Like, oh my god! She, like, backs away, clinging onto her medical device. and sort of, like, her back against it. Like, oh my god! Worry not, ma'am! I'm here to help! Someone other than you. You land on the up... Your feet land on the operating table. Alright, alright. And from here, I'm going to march on out. And then I am going to do the most retarded thing I have ever even considered. First of all, what is this? The main lift? Yeah. Does it go anywhere in particular? Um. Outer space. <laughs> Just like the place where you load in all the heavy cargo, huh? Yeah. Alright, so the most retarded thing he can possibly think There's of There's the side door that also helps with that. Rocket Rescue. You only have one AP left. I know, so what he's going to try to do is he's going to try to use his kinetic launch to fly into Marina and catch her while he's flying. Alright. Roll flexibility. I will give you a plus two bonus due to some sort of inspiration. Well. Well, I got some good news. You catch I hit Marina. Ma you Bad catch news. I hit Marina. You basically ram into both of them. Marina is sent flying. And so, and, uh, basically, you both all are flying, and you land on this couch area right here, knocking over the coffee table, and you both take six damage. All of you. Is that reduced by armor? Sure. Okay. In that case, they don't take any damage. Hold on, Russ is going to rule one last thing. What he fails to land on the couch in a suave pose. <laughs> God. <laughs> Princess witnesses this flying and just sort of goes... Mm, mother of God. <laughs> she holds her hand out and Russ, you're trying to do a suave pose. But your ass, like, your crotch is, like, right next to your face. So you're upside down. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. She just sort of goes... Marina, what is the name of the, uh, Mind Crush spell? <laughs> Lena. <laughs> I'm imagining her asking that in character. Well, that's funny. That would be hilarious. What's the I name? I put it in chat. Uh, uh, let me see. Hoogerskoten. Her eyes glow sort of uh, yellowish mixed with uh, sort of a limeish green, uh, like a light blue-green. And uh, this is against your will, Russ. Okay, let's see what his willpower is. Grand total of one. Well, it, she beat 11. <laughs> yep. Alright, let me roll damage, and this goes right through your armor. Oh, and roll me a 4 2 save for the things for your jumping. Okay. 
Yeah, right, you're fine. Except your brain. Which, you know, your brain takes 24. And then she does it again. Because she's pissed. Oh, wow, that was a near crit. So, she mind crushes you twice. Okay. And she sort of like holds her hands out, crushes her fists, and you're just sort of holding your head like, Oh, God! Your nose is bleeding Does pretty. Does have additional effects other than damage? Um. I mean, you're at half health right now. Are you not? Yeah, I'm, I'm about at half health. Um, yeah, you're you're staggered right now. So only one action? Yep. Yeah, one action. Okay, okay. I am going to ask the stupidest question imaginable. Are we wearing space-proof suits? It's like, would Russ's suit be void rated? No. Probably Marina's wouldn't be either. Yeah. I mean, Marina's in her pajamas, pretty much. I mean, considering we got, like, teleported from our room and all. Yeah. And she never bothered to dress herself. You know. So you're kind of stuck. <laughs> what do you mean, you know? <laughs> Anywho, what are you guys? All right, all right, so it's our turn now. Yeah. Does that mean in a complete state of undress, or just like pajamas undress? I mean, pajamas. Okay. Unless you want to be naked, that's all up to you. So. Uh, pajamas. <laughs> am I now connected to the ship? You are now walking in. Um. What do I hear? Um, screaming. Uh, give me a second. Um, Russ, your nose and eyes are bleeding. Which is... This is fine. This is fine. Alright, let me, uh, add Wade to this. Give me a sec. And I'll add you where you need to be. Alright, you're on the map. If you want to look over here. Oh, send me the link. I thought you had the link. Uh, I mean, I can I could, I could do, do it. It's just easier yeah, if you just, send me the link. Alright, no, no, no. That's it's all right. So I'll many get people have rolled it already, so it's kind of hard. All right, fine. I'll just I'll just get into it, and I'll just all go right. into roll twenty, and I'll just show up. That's all right. That's how it works. Anyway, Russ, you are now in the stuffs. Yes. Hey, the stuffs. Remember to click in the Discord. Uh, um. So there was a person who was driving me, right? Um, basically. Uh, what was her name? She's like, well, I'm, no one's really asked, uh, Charlotte. I say, what, and, uh, uh, where were you born? What's your story? Star Heart Home World. I say, how'd you end up on, uh, on the ship? Oh, uh, see, I was unsatisfied with the queen at the time. I thought someone else better suited to take power my leader princess and you know I've got a job here so why why didn't um why why didn't you try and be princess I don't know only a few of us can uh, actually have the potential to become a queen I say you don't you don't have that potential N no you're you're born with it <laughs> I know maybe they maybe you were born with it and they just lied to you Um, well, you could find out. You're, you're pretty, pretty good looking. 
I said, well, I, how, how do you find out one of these things? If I get pregnant or not. So if you get pregnant, you're one, or is it the other way around? If I get pregnant, I'm one. Oh. Yeah. So you want to do it? I'm really <laughs> bored. <laughs> I say, well, maybe after after all this is over. It's not really. You don't the... understand how bored I am. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm really, really, and she just sort of grabs your nuts. Bored. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so I say, okay, just just let me get ready, and I I step out of the the pod thing into the hallway and. And then I close the door and I push the button and it just goes off. <laughs> so now I'm assuming I am I am over here. Yep. All right. So do I hear anything? Um, the faint, uh, you know, almost through the void enough a sonic vibration so powerful it goes through the void of space of God fucking damn it, coming from the escape pod. Oh, okay. Um, so in that case, I just kind of look around. And Marina, have you gotten back into your own body? Yes. All right. So Marina, you regain consciousness. And Princess is standing, is sort of standing over you. Call off your dog before I, ma- before I melt his brain. You can't mind crush anyone if you're too distracted. Get a load of this! And Marina throws off her pajamas. <laughs> are you naked? Well, well are you wearing a cat <laughs> uniform? <laughs> what? No, cat suit! Cat suit! C- cat suit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was gonna it's offer you? That's cool. You're too distracted now, ain't ya? She sort of goes, Sweetie, I've been trying to talk to you to see if you'd be interested in a fancy position. No, so listening! <laughs> I want to offer you to be one of my second in command. Dinner in the movie first! <laughs> <laughs> What did she say? Dinner in a movie first. <laughs> um, I am slowly moving up, just so you are aware. I'm assuming, since it's only one thing, I can see now what's going on. As I hear dinner in a movie first. <laughs> she, uh, goes, sweetie. She was uh, so does a... Slaps your face a little bit, holding onto your collar. She's much shorter than you, by the way, so you're kind of on your knees. She's like a foot shorter than you, Marina. <laughs> oh no, I'm a pet- Okay, Marina. Um, illegal, illegal. Anyhow. Uh, Princess is going, I'm trying to offer you a nice little position in my little rebellion. I'm not here to hurt you. But if your lap dog comes near me, or if your friends try to touch me, murder them. Alright, so at this point I walk up. Speaking of friends. I say, hello, I heard you're planning a rebellion. Yes. I say I say why? Our queen has been on the throne for much too long. And I believe I can run things a lot better than she can. I say, look, ma'am. Alright, I've had some experience with rebellions. It's not okay, worth it. Metagame. You should uh, just... Right now. Huh? Yes. Um, Is this enough time for Russ to just sit there and regather his wits for a moment? He's not interfering. Yes, yes. So I walk over... And I, I say, like, like, look, you you need to realize something, right? You're going to put all this effort in to do this huge rebellion. 
Oh. Everyone's gonna end up dead. I've heard about you. And it's all gonna be lame. Are you a neurosin? Say what? My name is Wade. Is your last name Neurosin? I say yes. I mean, it's my parents' name. I heard about you. Yeah. And you can kind of tell that she casted a lore spell just to figure out about you. <laughs> I, I say... I say... They're not going to bother rolling because it's just going to be such a high modifier that it's just like... I say... Fuck it. I say, look, princess. Didn't your... You see, I have a big difference between you and my rebellions. You see the ship? This oh, isn't my only ship. I have hundreds of these. I say, well, how many does a Star Heart Queen have? A little less. I say, so you're doomed to lose, is what I'm hearing. Look, I'm telling you, if you have all of these ships, just go off on your she own looks... planet. It's so much easier. I mean, the, can't there be two Star Hard Queens? No. You have to kill the old one in order for a new one to come into power. I suddenly get the same look as when I uh, was examining the glasses, and I'm like, so what if two of you were to suddenly kill her at the same time? Would there then be two? There's a ritual that goes on in order to make you a queen. And only it's one of us... Sounds Mere like Marina, who is a potential queen, I can tell. Who I can tell with her. Oh my god, my kinda, name is Martin, and I have no idea what you are talking I kinda, about. I kinda, you I kinda, shut up, you I, idiot! I, I, I kind of like whisper into I, into Marina's ear. I'm like, I, I think she has a thing for you. She's... <laughs> what? Um, she went from... I, I turned to Princess, I'm like, you know this isn't a dude, right? <laughs> oh my gosh! Her eyes look like they're about to explode out of her fucking skull. <laughs> okay, okay. Another metagame thing. Can Russ take the time to drink one of his small health potions? Uh, I will allow it because the okay. way this is going, it's going pretty bad. <laughs> Okay, okay, hold on. 98 more. I say... 25 or plus 24? Wait, what? 24. Okay. Did you roll 98 divided by 4? No, no, no. Um, just, I just did a quick uh, calculation. You don't have to put die rolls into there. Oh, okay. I just wasn't sure um, yeah. uh, what you were doing. Okay, okay. So, um, I have now drank that potion... And Russ is now looking around. This seems to be the control room. Are there any big glass windows? No. Not that you can reach in a giant fucking blast off. And without hurting your friends. So I no, I, that, I turned to Marina. I'm just asking if there is one. Like a big freaking air scene. Oh, shit. There is. <laughs> Can you pick it, please? Where is it? The front of the ship. <laughs> oh. Okay. That would kill all of you. Well, we're pretty far behind. It would definitely kill Ross. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, the thing is, Ross doesn't have to be in your face in order to kill you. He actually has a yep. singular ranged attack. Yeah. Um, what's the range? The range is, as listed on the sheet, 60 feet. Point towards the front of the ship. You're 150 feet away. No, no, no. It's still not enough. Oh, that, that, that's the part. Okay, I thought it was the other, the other side. <laughs> it's oh, still okay. not enough, Russ. So okay, I, okay, but here's a question. And to be, he and to be fair, the glass is... And have the party move before um, <laughs> Princess takes her actions? Well, I mean... Um, you would have to roll initiative, and if you succeed initiative, I'll let you guys have one extra AP to do with as you please. Alright, so I, I lean in, in, into Marina, and I ask her, so, like, do you want to 
go do this? Like, what do you think of the queen? I've been on the run for a long time, so I j- oh, I hate it. I just, I don't want any part of this. Uh, let's just get out of here. Marina, you could be so much fucking more than just a simple little quest nut. You could become royalty. If I died, I would have you be my successor. I know you're acting like a little twat right now, but I've heard stories of your greatness as a quest nut so far, and you're... Oh, and I should ask, do I you really have a higher initiative than Russ? Um, Wade's dex base. What's your initiative? What's your dex, Wade? Oh, uh, you have my character sheet actually open. Oh. Um, six. Yeah, he's faster than Russ. You should roll. Okay, um, so I, I turn to Princess and I say, so if we're discussing this now, and if, if we were to come to the point that Marina might possibly not saying that she is, but if she were to say no, what would the consequences of that be? I don't want to kill her. I really want to kill you guys right now. I can't stand being in your fucking presence. I say... But I am a graceful ruler. You see, the queen doesn't see the big picture. She just wants to control her little bit of star heart space. We could be so much more. I say, all right, look, I understand you don't want me here. I'm just going to take my leave. And I walk to right here, turn, face all of these people. Do, do you know what I'm going to do? What? I, I, I have a trident. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> yes! <laughs> So, God damn it! So, um... Okay, so we are about to So you have this trident strapped to your and back. everything to and, sell. And I'd like to take it off, and I'd like to go in... in the, what is it? It's, it's at 50 feet one way or the other, so I'd probably step forward a little bit. It's 30 feet to the sides, 100 feet straight forward. Yeah, so I would... I it would takes walk, 2 AP. I know, I used 1 to move. Right. Into that position of me being like, look, all right, fine, I'll I'll leave, and then I just take the trident out, and um, I believe that allows me to hit everyone except for that one Valkyrie. So you're going a straight line, attacking all of these. Yep. Yeah. All right. Roll. Do, do I still get that? Don't they all have to make saves? Yes, they do. <laughs> Wait. Roll initiative for us, please. Yeah. Well, this is a surprise round, um, but I can also. I'll allow it for Wade here, because it's too. Russ has been planning his big stunt for a while. Can he get a single move in before this shit starts? I I I think as you see me leaving, you would know I'm probably not leaving. So initiative is just Dex, right? All right. The save is twenty. Initiative is just Dex. Yeah. I need to go for something real quick. I'll be right back. What's the save based off of? Um, it's their dodger block. No, 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 like, what's um, the DC based off of? It's just a flat DC. It was 25 before. It is 25, so... Alright. So I got a 19 initiative. If we're doing it based off that plus 6 that you told me. Yeah. This would also technically hit Princess. Oh god, it does. <laughs> 1D... This is going to end up in the biggest mess you've ever seen, and there is no <laughs> other way it could possibly end. You do realize that, Boots, right? Yeah. I mean, here's the thing is, is how much will this, like, fill up the place? Ho- hopefully... A lot. A lot? Okay. I mean, it'll spread out. I mean, if you did it again, you might be up to your knees. Okay, so at this point it's probably up to your feet. After everything is settled. Yeah, it might it might be up to your toes. Okay. And then after again, it might be up to your shins, and then a third time, which is all you can really do. That, uh, that's okay. I probably won't use right. it yet. So, um, how much AP does Princess have? She has the old system, so she would have... Uh, oh, wait, she's at level 15? Oh, sh... Uh, 
six every every six levels. All right, start with two and three. Six. Um. Yeah, she has, I believe, four or five AP, princess. Um. All right, I'll roll. Doesn't want to take her issue, though. Let me see. Uh, prin I believe princess actually has the highest dex. Um, out of her minions, yeah, she does. Well, I guess they will be going first. Princess sees you pull out that trident. And immediately, because she can, first, she'll spend about... Uh, Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got my surprise round. That's surprise true. Round you do. First. You do. You're right. And then from then on... She'll be going first. Yep. So, let me roll their saves real quick. Here is for the Amazons. They make it. Because they're quick and nimble. For the Valkyries. They do not. Um, wait, which is... Oh, Valkyrie B. It's for Valkyrie B, who actually is stronger than her compatriots. Um, actually, these are the other two Valkyries that aren't in the direct line of fire. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah, and now for... Wait, wait, what are we doing? I'm rolling for all the Valkyries... There's two sets of Valkyries. There's the regular ones. Oh, okay. And then there's the special one. So that 13 was for the regular ones, and then this one's the special one. Yeah. So they both fail. Yep, and now I'm for... And now for the Maidens. And they failed. And then Princess? And Princess, let me see what her dodge was. Oh, it's... Yeah, she might make it out okay. Yeah, she's fine. All right, Roll so it's, your... how much d6 is it? It's 10d6. Is it plus anything? Um, well, no, I gotta pull that out. Um, give me a sec. Let's not. Wait, let me give me a sec. Um, do, do, do. Where is it? Artifacts. Alright, give me a sec. Uh, this is taking a <coughs> while. Trident of Aquarius. 2d6. Uh, and for everyone in the straight line, it's 10 D, roll your 10d6 separate. Um, what, what, what is it though, so I understand? Um, 10d6. basically, your wave is a 10d6 of the ice and water. And oh, then but everyone there's... in the line that you're doing, that you are fucking spearing right here. Oh, so if I were to do it that way though, then it wouldn't hit Princess. I mean, it surrounds you in a thing of water first, so it swirls around you, and then... Oh, oh, okay, so it would hit her. Yeah. Okay. Um, so for the people in the middle, it does more? Oh, wait, does warm. wait. Because I didn't know it did the swirly thing. Oh, uh, wait. Marina needs to roll. Well, I didn't know it did the swirly thing. It does do the swirly thing. How, what's the size on it? Actually, no. The reason why it hit R Russ last time was because he was doing it at a diagonal. But I guess it wouldn't hit how, it wouldn't how, it wouldn't hit Princess. Well like but here's the thing is is if I were to do it this way, then it would. Yes. It's just then the only one that would get hit with the additional damage is that one. Yeah. Which is what I would like to do. Okay. So Roll so your 10d6 first. 10d6 then would be for everyone except for Starheart Maiden 1. Yes. Okay. She gets an additional 
you know, melee damage. Which is a 2d6 plus your okay. strength plus your dex plus 5. Alright, so 10d6. Well, that's... Could be better. Yeah. So, 29. So, that means everyone who saves take what? 15? 14? Yep. And then everyone who fails takes 29? Yep, and everyone who failed, which is a lot of people... Oh, wait. It would be minus... 9... Uh, give me a sec. Plus 45. Oh, wait. No. 45. Trying to get their damage. Uh, 29 minus 6. 23. Minus 23. Minus 23. Minus 23. <laughs> Minus 11 for the Amazons. And... Um, give me a sec. Minus 11. Oh, Alina, you there? Now roll your other damage. And this one is plus, what is it? 2d6? 2d6 plus your strength plus your dex plus 5. What's my strength? My dex is 6. And your strength is 0. Okay. Total of 22. Well, you kill one person. Do a good amount of damage to the rest of them. Yep. Assuming I am now on the other side. Yep, so you impaled this girl against the wall. Um, yeah, basically, this girl's, like, fucking right there. They're on top of her, putting her in to the wall. Wait, let me just move you so I can X her. So, yeah, you're right there. Yay! All right, now it's her turn. Uh, Lena didn't get to move in the surprise round. Oh, um, yep, that's you. Marina, you get to do something. Oh, wait, Lena left for a little bit. Oh, now I'm sad. I guess we'll just have to move on. Yep. Anywho, there's a bunch of pissed off people. And, uh, Princess will first cast, uh, which is some, something that would cost 2 AP, Inspire. Um, basically, um, they get a bonus to, you know, attack and damage equal to a discipline on this, so... It's a plus four for everyone. Yay. Yay. Next thing? Next thing, she catch, casts magical armor on herself, which gives her a bonus DR equal to her intelligence. Good for her. So her DR is plus ten. And she wraps herself in magic. Alright, and uh, now for the Amazon. Um, let me see. 're gonna overwatch you Wade basically to make sure you know if you try to move they're going to try to attack except for this one right here she's feeling risque 
She's gonna do her two attacks. I wink at her. This angers her. <laughs> Good. What's your defense? Uh, I don't know. You have it. Uh, yay. 29. I actually do have my character sheet up. I forgot about that. <laughs> you have a better version than I do, probably. No, it's the same one. Oh. So, uh... So it oh, and another, and her second sword crits. That's alright. Do your worst, lady. Alright. Do the six. Actually, it would be a d6. D6. Plus four, plus eight, actually, now. And you take 24 damage minus your DR. Minus five. So, uh, okay, yeah. Never underestimate an odd person with a lucky crit. Yep. So, next up, um, Prince and Princess's last action will basically go to after the demon. And uh, oh, that is going to be a bad decision very shortly. Um. Russ, don't die. <laughs> one over there and one over here. Um, she'll move right here. She'll move right there. She'll move right there. And fire upon Russ. Bring it! Nope. Nada. Nope. Nope. Laser fire everywhere. And not a drop to drink. And, uh... This Amazon will... Will... Move right there. And Vel... Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z Abridged. And BB will, with her three action points, because she's special, move right there and make two attacks towards you. Go for it. She might actually hit you. Go for it. Well, they're hit. rolling pretty well. Yeah. Two hits. So, and they have heavy axes. Three, all right, give me a second. 3d6 plus um, basically 9 minus so it'd, be, it'd be a minus 11 and minus 14 so it's a minus 25 total alright so she just sort of comes in with a whirling sort of Hits you in the shoulder blade and then hits you in your lower abdomen, like near the kidneys. Mm -hmm. And the Valkyries are going to try to pursue Russ. Oh, bring it on! So. Yo. Oh, wait, I forgot about the Majoka. Well, she's captaining, so, you know. She's fine. And, uh, Ava is going to spend her action point getting up. One, two. Move over the Russ. And... Russ, you are being flanked. Okay. So she is aiming at your weak, soft exterior. Oh, wait, Wade. Add that to your damage. So 26? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so that's a hit on Russ if she's flanking me and, and I'm flat-footed. Wait, did you did you already add it? Um, no, I did not. Okay. And another hit. So, Russ. I'm back. Okay, Lena, you're witnessing Russ getting some axes. 3d6. How come my minus doesn't work? I don't know. So, Russ and... Oh, wait. She could only attack once. I'm sorry, Russ. Okay, so then roll that singular damage thing. Yep. 22. Yep. Minus your DR. And my DR is 7. So that is a total of... That... 15. Yep. So, Lena, um, apparently Princess uh, cast a few buffs on her friends, and your friends decided to attack her. And there, and uh, basically, Wade has the trident. So, using the power of the artifact, he's going to try to kill everyone here. Probably. I don't know. Who knows? About as expected, I guess. Yep. So. Uh, turn? Actually, Lena's turn. Because she just got back. What do you want to do, Lena? I will let you know right now that Russ is about to do something spectacularly dumb that will change the entire fight. To be fair, Russ, I don't know if one clap's going to break the glass. Maybe, but it would probably fuck up all the systems. Uh, and it might cause everyone to be like, oh my god, he's suicidal. And have everyone run for the escape pods. Yeah, which one of them is gone. Yep. Alright. I mean, theoretically, so, if she's a pilot, she could have steered back Severe Bear Russ. Yo. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna move her right here. You do have the opportunity to clap in one direction. It's not your original intent. But. You know. When the water swirls around me, how far away does it go? Um, around like, uh. 30. 15 when it starts off swirling around you, and then 30 when you dash to the side. Oh, it's 30 on each individual side? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was longer. So which one are you going to do? Oh, Lena's turn. Yeah, yeah, Lena. What do you want to do, Lena? Um, let's How see, maybe talk to... Actually, that? attempt to talk to Princess and say, like, would it be... Or, um... How long would your offer stand anyways? Because... I might be interested, but I don't want to leave the quest knots yet. She goes from furious to, holy shit, you're actually talking to me. <laughs> and like, like Maria just kind of like, uh, gestures the news. Look at them, they're a bunch of loose weirdo cannons, and they're really fun, and I don't want to leave yet. Sweetie, I'm not going to ask you to leave now. But in the future, you know, maybe in a month or two I might need you. No. But when I need you, I'm going to take you, okay? And you're not going to have a choice. <laughs> that doesn't sound like us being anywhere near equal. To be fair, I'm about ready to kill your friends. It's the best offer I'm going to give you, sweetie. Well, I mean, you did kind of port them into a ship and... They're like wild animals, you know? You don't startle them like that. I'm, I get that now. I get that. We, we, you know... I was almost sexually assaulted. Alright, this is not a, fr uh, a working... Uh, 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 a, f a friendly working environment uh, for her to be in. Yeah. Uh, I'll make sure she's fired. I say, no, I don't think that'll be necessary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Although I guess she does have the ability to pilot the thing, so she's probably fine. 
Yeah. So is it is it is it my turn? Um Princess goes, I'll call off my my girls if you agree. That's all you have to do, sweetie. She put sort of puts her finger underneath your chin. That's all you have to do. Oh god, please don't kiss me. She begins to pucker, but she holds back. <laughs> no. uh, <laughs> Alright. What's your choice, Lena? We, we, we can't just be allies, can we? It's not just going to be a distress signal and, hey, come help out. You gotta Shanghai me, don't you? Punch her in the throat! To be fair, sweetie, you haven't given me a lot of, you know, leeway and... To be fair, you've only screamed like an invalid for the past <laughs> few times I have met you. Kick her in the shin. Well, all right, that's partially my fault, but partially I'm just constantly paranoid every single time I see another star heart. I'm not going to hurt you, but you know who's going to try to hurt you? The queen. Because she's a bitch, and she needs to die. Pull out her teeth. <laughs> Yes, I can see we are t- on two different pages on the flight or fight response here. <laughs> I'm going to murder her and take her position. And you, I need you to be my right-hand woman. You're smart. And you have the potential to be my successor. And really, I need a successor because I know a queen's not going to last forever. And we I can the- also do these things while remaining in quest knots. If you need anything... Fill out an official mission form. (laughs) Sweetie. Is that in character? Yes. (laughs) I'll call you directly. Okay, well that works too. So, when I need you, you'll be there? She sort of stares at you and just wants a confirmed answer. Well, I mean, so long as we're not already in a mission halfway down some planetary beast esophagus, I I don't see why not. Perfect, then it's arranged. Girl, stop! And they're about to, ready to, like, try to decapitate Russ. At least Ava, <laughs> the honestly. Valkyrie, is about ready to swing at your head. And right before the axe bites into your, uh, forehead, it stops... Which is really good for them, considering I was about to kill half of them. Yeah. I've got a really good line. And uh, the others just sort of put away their swords real quickly. They're done. Is it Marina? Are we betraying them? Now that they've lowered their weapons? Well, out of character, I probably would not go for that 100%. Although I did want to know what Russ was going to do. What Russ was going to do was basically blast open the fucking window, smash all their consoles with the flash clap, and then basically do a mad dash for the escape pod. I mean, I mean, my character did, did shell out. Do, do you want me to stop? What would you what would you reply to that? I I am not your mother, you are an adult, you may make your own decisions. I say, no, no, this is this is this is what you want me to do. Kinda came here to rescue you two. So if you two are cool, I'm cool. But if you two still like I'm totally ready to murder all of these ladies. And I just kinda like point to all of them. And they're all sort of like you know what I'm saying. They're all this stuff. Yeah, like, same, no, no, same, this is same, like, yeah. we, we completely understand each other. Like, this is no hard feelings. We understand nothing, none of this is personal. So, do you want me to kill them or not? That is very sweet, but I think we don't need to kill them anymore. I say, okay, just making, making sure to confirm that. Russ, your response to people putting their weapons away? It's like, huh. You know, I was sure that I was going to blow everything up. I like how the, the most dangerous thing in this ship is not our enemy. It's Russ. <laughs> Russ seriously, Russ seriously if Russ broke the glass, if Russ, 
If Russ rolled a nat 20 on that attack... And thereby shattering the glass... You'd all be dead. I couldn't no, DM no. my way yeah, around it. Really easy. Yeah. Uh, okay, maybe I I've got so many doors nearby me for me to grab onto. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, you'd be able to grab onto something, but, you know, after a round... Oh, well, the air's gone. I mean, the air would take a little while. I can hold my Okay, after two rounds... No, no, no. I think I think we could we could we could make it to the escape pod. All right. So, uh, Mar- Marina, uh, the girls sort of get out of you. Ava moves out of the way. BB and and Amazon move out of uh, Wade's way. And Princess, this is. I've already sent you my number in an email. Don't ask me how I got it. Lower spell, you know. We all have <laughs> something in common. As queens. Princesses. Yeah, I know. Anywho, I'll see you around. And, uh, I guess if you really want to bring your fucking rip raft. Oh, and, uh, real quick. Hooger scouting. On Wade. On what? Uh, what's your will? Uh, I don't know. I'll look that up. What is she doing? Uh, she's doing a mind crush on you. Awkward. It's mostly... Alright, give me a second. And this is staggering you. Yeah. 46. Plus... So yeah, you take 21 damage. I'm cool with it. Directly. Especially considering what I'm about to get. You get it. Wait, uh, do you scream? I mean, your mind is being crushed from the inside out. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, uh... Mostly groaning, like... (laughs) No, 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 no. Um... (laughs) What? (laughs) No. No. Is it something on Facebook or is it... No, no, it's it's a thing I'm thinking about. But it's, it's do I want to get us all killed? <laughs> She's like, I only did that because he got my dress wet. Do you know how much this costs, sweetie? Um, no, 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 I kind of like, I got like a, a really bad headache. Like I, 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 you uh, are staggered, so any of the extraordinary abilities from the Trident are not available to you. Mm-hmm. No, I, um, uh, 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 I, uh, I, I take out a piece of paper and I write a little, a little note on it and I, uh, put it on the, on the table next door and then I, I just leave. And the blood coming out of your ears? Ears? Gills. 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 Blood coming out of your gills, nostrils, mouth, and I mean, eyes. to be fair, although it was a pretty large amount of damage, it really wasn't that much. Only a quarter of my health. <laughs> so I, I head back towards one of the escape pods. Russ, do you join him? I will join him. Does, now get going, you red raft. Does Princess pick up the note? Um, She'll look at it later. Okay. Um... <laughs> Now, if you want to invite your riffraff along, make sure they behave. Okay, sweetie. And Marita leans in and, like, gently shoves a piece of saltwater taffy into Princess's mouth and says, Please don't call me sweetie. Um, so, I just want to say what I was thinking about doing, and that is my, my dealing with the pain is, is that I fall over onto Princess. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. And that was a good way to and die. Just bleed all over her shirt. I'd be able to kill her. <laughs> I'd be able to, you know, give her my middle finger if she kills me. No. It's okay though. I think I think when she does read the note, that'll all what it what it'll have to be. Alright. She chews on the taffy. 
You can go now. All right, Russ is going to enter the escape pod. Okay, call you later, but not in the creepy girlfriend way. Bye. Absolutely in the creepy girlfriend way. Yeah, you already have a creepy boyfriend. <laughs> Who got, runs around in women's lingerie in a bath towel in public areas. <laughs> Yeah, taken out of context, that might be a bit strange, huh? Yeah. Oh, wait, what do I mean, taken out of context? In context, it's strange. <laughs> the whole thing is still strange. So, as soon as uh, that star, the uh, Charlotte, parks her uh, escape card, or she runs out, like, you see, as soon as you walk in, like, wait, you're the last to enter, and you see a star heart... Rip open her shirt. He's like, "Take me, you fishy bastard!" <laughs> what do you do? Um, just just go in your ship. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. There, there has to be something I can come up with here that's better than that. Probably not. Distraction cat suit. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Rust um, in and, r- and rips open his bath towel. <laughs> Good. Um. Okay, Boosh, Boosh, can I roll to kill the mood? <laughs> <laughs> to kill the mood? No, 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 no. I, 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 as I get on the ship and basically seal the door behind me, I do like the little like hand thing to signify phone, and I say, and I, I mouth call me, and then we book book it. <laughs> And as soon I like as she sees the relationship, this, the relationship she sees but this. it's not a denial. It's more of I'm busy. She she <laughs> faints a little bit. <laughs> what was her name? Charlotte. Charlotte. We'll have to remember that. I mean, she's probably going to get jettisoned out into space. I mean, we'll see. And. uh... So you're flying back. Uh, wait. And you board your own ship. What does the note read? Um, I'm writing it up for you. Oh, lordy. Yeah, it's it's very short. I'm just trying to think of the proper way to say it. Okay. Because I actually, I kind of want it now because it's kind of perfect. You're about to activate, you know, sort of your warp. Mm-hmm. Um... Um, I'm, I'm only writing it to you. Alright, so it's, it's a hidden thing. Oh. It's a hidden thing. And it's probably going to fail horribly. But it's a hidden thing. Uh, like, is it something that would make her kill you? That's entirely how you decide to interpret it. <laughs> okay. So, you managed to leave Princess's shape, uh, ship... With very minor minor casualties. It's true, I only impaled that one girl. Yep. <laughs> Overall, a very, very non lethal day. So I mean I like like do we do we do we blast out of there before um she, she reads the note? She reads it um like as we're blasting out? Yeah, as you're blasting out and okay. getting as you're actually boarding your ship, actually. Okay. So, here... Uh, Where are you sending it? Uh, uh, through Skype. Oh, I'm not. Uh, give me a sec. I'll get on Skype. No, oh, here, I'll just show it to you then. <laughs> she reads it. Does, does, does she send a message... Either over the intercom or, or through the thing? Um, she sends an email to uh, Mar- Marina. And I presume you have your own little tablet, Marina? Yes. Alright, so you're trying to go to bed even though you have a lot on your... I'm presuming a lot on your mind. Yeah, pretty much. And you get an email saying, like, Hey, sweetie. You know what? I'm going to call you Taffy from now on. Because you strangely <laughs> have candy everywhere. 
So Listen, Taffy. I can't wait till we meet again. You know, when I can obtain queenhood. And you can, you know... How do I put it? And you can be my right hand lady. Also, uh, remind your fishy, uh, your fish friend. Next time I see him, he's dead. <laughs> I'm going to murder him in cold blood. I'll murder him so hard. If he has children, they'll be dead too. I'm imagining like between every single word, there's like. Happy smiling fish sticks emoji. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, pretty much. And, uh, XOXO, love ya, princess. Marina forwards this to Wade and then goes back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. oh, princess would kick your ass. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, when you level up, you might be able to face her. I don't know what you're talking about. You do look, have a trick. Look, her agreement to stop fighting was to her benefit. <laughs> Rush was about to send you on the space and you all died. No, no, we would have been fine. Rush was going to do the equivalent of rocks falls, everyone dies. No, no, it would have been fine. All right, so... I mean, if I did it at the very beginning of our turn... Isn't it at least possible that, you know, we would live in order to get to the escape pod and completely fuck up her ship? I mean, here's the thing is, is he has access to rocket boosters, so he can go against go against the wind. Yeah. I have a ridiculous speed boost. Marina would probably die. We have no way of saving her. Also, I have ridiculous water current that I could still use to, yeah. to get to safety. And theoretically, so I could use that to grab her. her off her feet. Yes. And it's kind of fishy heroism. Yeah. And the best part is, is since it's water, I might be able to still breathe. Like, if you had enough water, you could probably uh, stop the explosive decompression just long enough for us to survive. Yep. Yep. Either way... And doesn't that thing have a freeze it power? A it does. It was just so I could theoretically put a bunch of water and freeze it at the right opportunity. Yep. Anywho. So, I guess, uh, closing thoughts. Russ and Marina, you head back to your rooms. Marina. Lena. Hello? Yes. How does Marina take all of this? Curl up into a fetal position. Um. I mean, somewhat badly. She has to wonder, she, she is wondering how Princess has managed to track down her info and keep a track of her whereabouts. And then wondering what's going on at the home planet. And in the midst of all this wondering, she'll probably actually go to their little library room, drag her, uh, blanket and pillow and make a book for it. Um, I'm gonna let you know, the library is Russ's room. <laughs> that there's no... Too bad! <laughs> Too bad, because Maria's freaked out. So, Russ, you're trying to sleep, but someone turned on the lights and is now reading all your books. Russ is going to sit down next to Marina and pull out his, you know, most durable book and sit next to her for a while. What is this book? And what significance does it have to you? The book is going to, is going to be one of his philosophy favorites. And uh, I, I don't know the alternate space names of all the I actually had a great idea for what the book could be. What? Your own journal. <laughs> it would have to be. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, something about space philosophy? Let me hear it. Like, I don't know uh, what philosophers you would have, or what counterpart names you would have, yeah. but it would be like, uh, Sun, fucking... Uh, Sun Shu, Su would actually be S-U-N, Su. <laughs> so, um, like, the literal gas giant wrote this book. Yep. 
Um, so I also, when I get the email from Marina, I send it back asking if I could have her contact information. The, 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 what, uh, what's her face's contact information. Oh, uh, princesses? Yeah, princesses. Okay. Do you agree, Marina? He's Actually, in... since it was forwarded, wouldn't he be able to see the original yeah, sender? Yeah. Oh, I can see it? Yeah. All right, then. All right, um... Though, I'm, I'm thinking, like, if you had a most durable book, it would be your own fucking journal, because every time you try to write in it, the pencil either explode through, <laughs> so you have a book of steel pages, and you just sort of scratch your pinky along it to write <laughs> it. That's a good... That's, that's actually something that um, would fit. I'm going to say that Russ is, in fact, uh, having his armor-plated diary, and he is scratching into it right next to Marina. All right. Marina, do you look in? Nope. Marina's <laughs> just in her little book fort, sort of uh, retreating into her own mind to think. Next to her, but I'm presuming that isn't your best friend, or no? I don't know. Tough call, but I mean, I guess after spa day, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, next to your friend... Who's trying to, I don't know, silently comfort you? Sweet little ending. Let's wait. Okay, okay. Russ is going to flip around his little, uh, his little book, and he's going to show Marina what he drew. <laughs> what is it? It is the design for an incredibly powerful bomb as noted by the, you know, incredible power lines rising from it. <laughs> With, um, Marina's contact info on it. So that, and then, you know, so when, uh, fucking, uh, Princess tried to call her, she'd instead get the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't, how does that even work? I don't, I don't, I, it, it's not supposed to work. It's supposed it's to be sort of funny. Thing that you can teleport, you know, people out of their bunks. So you and you drew up a plan of like, hey, if this ever happens to us again. So what by you're the way, is uh, we need to get a robotic version of Marina that I'm censors on your way out, all you, show as Marina. I'm, I'm just gonna ask on your way out. I presume you guys like grab all your shit from your rooms. What? Yeah. Wait, wouldn't you just ask them to... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. SpaceX them to us, please. Yeah, basically, they they send it to you. Basically, they shoved it in the pod with you. Alright. By the way, I just realized the... (laughs) Terrible. The The entire contents of Russ and Marina's rooms. They had to clean it up. And now there's... That would be terrible to shove in a single pod. Oh, yeah, it was. I mean, you had Wade helping. Yep, I would help. Can we not return the pod? (laughs) I mean, yeah, basically, uh... I guess you strap it on the end of your ship, just sort of tether it. You do have a tether. (laughs) You guys have a start. Oh, yeah, we're just going to keep both of those pods. Oh, no, you only got one pod. (laughs) No, 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 they sent us home in one pod, and they're sending all of our supplies back on another. No, no, they shoved it in with you. It was very (laughs) uncomfortable. Yeah, we would actually be packed in, like, sardines with a bunch of books, candy, and maybe some clothes. (laughs) Yep. Maybe. Uh... Strangely, Wade, there's stuff missing from your room. Don't ask why. No, no what, what's, what's missing? I will find whoever did this. A pair of boxer briefs. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Anywho. Someone might have stopped off at the ship before you. That's why it took her so long. <laughs> Anywho. Who, uh, Russ and Marina, 
You spend the night uh, sitting in your blanket fort library, doodling and reading good books. And occasionally making giant immature drawings of how much of a butt princess is. Yes. Do they make Marina giggle? Or, you know, at least smile a bit? Yep. Alright. And with that, we'll end it off. So, thoughts on the session real quick, guys? I like the high tension, because I actually wasn't sure if we would succeed at a couple of points. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, if you didn't succeed, Russ, you probably would have been close to dead, nearly dead, if, oh god, if Princess got to you. If she actually went into attack mode. Actually, one of my ideas was to actually get Wade mind-controlled. Yeah. Oh, oh no. But I was yeah, we, we probably had a high chance of dying. So, Russ is going to take his, um very wisely saved, it seems, cash, and he is going to invest in making sure that this shit, this particular shit, does not happen again. Alright. So in other words, we need special anti-Starheart shields. I mean, I'm just imagining, like, he walks around everywhere with a tinfoil hat now. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, I got a phone call. Alright. Well, your thoughts, Lena? I like how we had to move through a bunch of different things and that it's like, well, that escalated quickly. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. All right, I gotta head out and I will discuss things with you later. All right. All right, see ya. Well, Better okay, bye. this has been uh, Numbers playing Russ, Lena playing Marina, uh, Tom as Wade, and with that, good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. Say goodbye to our folks at home. Bye. Oh, my God. It's been two hours. All right. Bye.